Sacktown, what's going on? Sacktown Pete back at it again. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I want to, first of all, apologize for the poor, piss poor audio. I think that we got that resolved and taken care of now. Uh, from my last couple videos, the audio was not the best. And uh, I wanted to make sure that the audio has been addressed. So it sounds like it looks like it has been addressed. Seriously, apologize for that. But today, boy, we got some things we want to talk about today. And that is... Kyle Kuzma going to the Sacramento Kings, potentially in a free agent deal. And the Sacramento Kings, supposedly the word is this is gaining momentum at the Kings. will sign Kyle Kuzma when free agency opens up Friday, 3 p.m. West Coast time, our time. And it gets me excited because Kyle Kuzma is definitely, we've been linked to Kyle Kuzma for two seasons now. Uh, a little refresher, back uh, when we had Buddy Heald, we actually uh, had a deal in the works to send Buddy Heald and Kyle K and get Kyle Kuzma and Montrez Harrell um, in a trade two summers ago. But, of course, that didn't work out, and the Lakers stepped in and ruined that deal. So, um, sucks that didn't work out, but here we are two summers later. Kyle Kuzma is a free agent. The Sacramento Kings have cap space. And for what it's been reported, and I've been hearing about it all day so far today, that the Kings and Kyle Kuzma have mutual interests and it's gaining momentum. So uh, Kyle Kuzma won the 2020 championship with the Los Angeles Lakers, the bubble ring. Uh, he averaged last season, he averaged 21 points, uh, seven boards a game. And about three assists a game. You round it up to four, I guess. Um, <clears throat> does he move the needle? <clears throat> does Kyle Kuzma move the needle? That's my question, I guess. Um, is he much of an upgrade over Harrison Barnes? Um, does he move the needle from the Kings being a playoff team to a contending for a championship uh, team starting next season if the Kings do come out and sign him? You know, that's a great question. Um, wanted, I posted out on my Twitter, wanted to get people's, you know, feedback and reaction. And the majority have said that, yes, uh, he does move the needle. He is a very good basketball player. And at age 27, <clears throat> he's still just entering his prime. And I think that he still has a, um, a great offensive game, you know, above average defender, if anything. But, but if he comes here... He's going to have to be a better defender. And um, I think that with the Wizard, a.k.a. Mike Brown, um, you better believe that Kyle Kuzma will be a better defender under Mike Brown because he will be playing for Mike Brown. And it gets me excited. <clears throat> Honestly speaking, it gets me excited to see um, how Kyle Kuzma uh, will fit in here with the Sacramento Kings, assuming that he does sign a deal with the Kings once free agency opens up and starts. Um, I think... When I look at Kyle Kuzma signing, yes, offensively he's got it all, man. We already have a high octane explosive power, offensive power, um, and it'll just add that much. It'll make our offense that much better and add another dimension to our offensive game. With Kyle Kuzma in the uh, in the equation, uh, you talk about. I mean, look at the Sacramento Kings. If they do get Kuzma, Keegan Murray, Kyle Kuzma, uh, De'Aaron Fox, Demonis Sabonis. Boy, um, it's definitely going to be hard for defenses to stop that four four man lineup in the starting lineup. Um, because let's face it, uh, Kuzma comes here, he's starting at the three or the four. You know, and Murray can flip flop. Murray can start three of the four. Domas is your five. De'Aaron is your one. And, um, you know, Kevin Herter is your two. So um, I like that lineup a lot. Um, defensively, I definitely have some questions about Kyle Kuzma. But make no mistake about it. You know, we've seen guys like Monk. We've seen guys, seen guys like Fox defensively thrive under Mike Brown. And Kyle Kuzma should not be no different. Um, I think he will thrive under Wellwood defensively under Kyle, under Mike Brown. And I honestly think that this will be a good signing for the Sacramento Kings. Depending on what the numbers are going to be, because the Kings do have about $35, $38 million in cap space. Um, do you start out paying Kyle Kuzma $30 million a year? Or do you pay him $25, $27 million a year? So that number is going to be very interesting to see what the Kings settle with Kyle Kuzma and what they could potentially hit offer him. Um, 
I think it's been reported that he obviously opted out $13 million from the Washington Wizards, and he wants to um, <laughs> have, get at least 25 to $30 million um, a year. And that's, a, I mean, it's a lot of money, but you know what? If you're a Kyle Kuzma and a Kyle Kuzma type of player, um, you're going to demand that type of salary and money. So we'll see what the Kings do, and we'll see what the Kings offer him. I want to hear from you guys. So let me know your guys' thoughts about Kyle Kuzma and what he can bring to the Sacramento Kings, you know, offensively and defensively. And does that mean it's the end of the era for Harrison Barnes? Most likely, I think that although they say that they have interest in bringing Harrison Barnes back, but if you're going to roll the dice and you're going to come out and sign Kyle Kuzma, uh, pretty much means that Harrison Barnes may be gone. And that's okay because, you know, you get an athletic wing who can – you know, get the ball in the hoop, put the ball in the basket. You need that. And I think that's going to only help him uh, when De'Aaron Fox is a bonus is sitting on the bench and Murray and Kuzma are on the floor getting buckets. It's only going to help Murray as well. I mean, I think that the signing can help Murray and his development and just focus on not rushing Murray. You know, I know what he's capable of. We all know what we all seen it, seen flashes of it during the playoffs and in the season, what Murray's capable of. But make no mistake about it. Um, it can definitely take pressure off of Murray and, you know, slowly bring him up into becoming a star. So I like it, man. <laughs> I want to hear from you guys. Though. Let me know your guys' thoughts on about this uh, Kyle Kuzma to the Kings uh, potential signing. Um, man, I just can't wait for Friday until once free agency opens up. We shall see for sure what the Kings do. I mean, and keep this in mind, guys. Tomorrow may be another rumor. And. Friday before the free agency starts, it may be another rumor. So take this with a grain of salt. Um, it could be a possibility where Kyle Kuzma and the Kings agree to a contract once free agency opens up Friday afternoon. And I will have it for you guys here. Anything that breaks news or if it's a trade, I will definitely keep you guys up to down here. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you so much. Have yourself a great rest of your day, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.